100 jams where hit music lives. Mr. Easy featuring Chris Martin right there in the mix for party time. Just before that, the boy a man, I'm a free ball family man with Out at Me, as well as the boy Wavy Vibes, I Be On. I love to see my local artists on the grind, making that new music and just, I don't know, just popping up and definitely, of course, you know, keeping a lot of us listening and keeping a lot of us tuning as to what they got going on next. But right now, it's time for Chat Trap, keeping you up to date with what's happening in the media. And Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. And Easy Payday Loans knows life gets a bit hard sometimes, but they are making it easier for you to receive financial help in under an hour. You can apply online anytime and anywhere. Just start your own application on Easy Payday Loans' website. Just grab your phone and log on to www.easypayday.loans. Let's jump right into it, talking about what gone on yesterday with Floyd Mayweather. So at the age of 44 years old, Floyd Mayweather is getting ready to hit the ring again against Logan Paul. But yesterday at the news conference for the fight, Logan Paul's brother, who is a YouTube star and boxer, Jake Paul, had gotten into a heated argument with Floyd Mayweather. I'm not sure if you saw the video circulating all on social media and you could see how heated Floyd Mayweather was because Jake Paul thought it was a good idea to snatch Floyd's hat. And he actually recorded a video before he decide to snatch the hat and say that he was going to do it he was going to snatch floyd's hat and then he's gonna basically say record another video and say how it went like i said he's a youtube star so i guess he thought that was interesting to do but therefore um he's saying that it went as planned but i don't think it really did go as planned for him but of course you know it was definitely not a good idea floyd felt super disrespected but it's just the fact that why would you go ahead and do that it was um it was very immature and a lot of persons definitely did comment on that but yeah i'm just saying a lot of persons right now are thinking that it was all planned well basically it was like a marketing stunt for the paul brothers but floyd may rather he really didn't like it and of course, you know, Jake Paul did end up getting really roughed up if you saw the fight. And things ended pretty badly for him because I think he also got hit in the eye. He got a bruised eye at the end of the day. But Floyd Mayweather did comment on it and he said that he don't want to talk about that. What he's going to do, the world knows what he's going to do. And he said that he's willing to fight both brothers in the same night if that's how they want to do it. But I don't know. I'm really excited to see this fight, though, seeing that things got heated at the conference. But moving on to further news, letting you know what's happening with COVID-19 once again. So U.S. officials, health officials, recently said that fully vaccinated Americans... Yeah, we're not American, but um, <laughs> fully vaccinated Americans don't need to wear a mask outdoors anymore unless they aren't in a big crowd of strangers. And those who are unvaccinated can go without a face covering outside in some cases, too. So they're saying basically only if you are in a large group of strangers uh, or other persons um, who aren't vaccinated, then, of course, then you might definitely want to wear your mask then, which I just think everything that's happening with COVID, all the new rules all the regulations is just very very confusing at this point but letting you know what's going on with tommy lee as he is locked up um tommy lee as he went viral this week over an alleged video of him being in prison getting his hair braided by another male who appears of course be an inmate and a lot of persons found this very strange and then you can still find the video online i actually just recently watched it again and yeah i mean come on who else is gonna braid us here i'm just saying who else is gonna do it Ain't no females in jail, so uh, of course a guy is going to end up doing it. But, of course, Tommy Lee came out, and he's just proving to everyone that being in jail is really no different than if he was on the road, of course. So I don't know what's going on with that, but a lot of people are talking about it, so <laughs> I just think it's it's okay. He's in jail, people. Who else is going to be in there? But anyhow, that's it for Chat Trap. Let you know what's happening in the media, and remember the Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans, helping you out during these difficult times. E Easy Payday is giving you low fees and the most competitive rates on any loan you apply for. That's instant loans, auto loans, loan consolidation, and quick financial assistance. So refer a friend on Easy Payday loans will pay you. Easy Payday will give you $100 when you as an existing client refer a friend. Remember, terms and conditions do apply. All you gotta do is call or visit them today, 603-0200, or visit them at their new location on University Drive. Jumping back into the mix, says some remix, Moneybag Yo, JT.